your former firm, Blackwater's been in the news. Uh, four Blackwater employees, Eric, were sentenced recently to long prison terms in connection with a very <laughs> controversial episode from 2007 in which Blackwater contractors ended up in a firefight at the end of which there were, I think, 14 Iraqi civilians, 17 by some other counts, uh, who were killed. It's actually uh, 11. 11. Uh, the, the, uh, why those numbers can move around is a mystery to me. Uh, but, uh, but, but recently, the uh, four of those former employees uh, were sentenced to long prison terms, one to life in prison, the other three to 30-year prison terms, and another contractor uh, pleaded guilty and testified in the trial of, of those others. Uh, in the past and in your book, you've, uh, you've, for the most part, I think, taken the position that, uh, the, uh, to defend what had happened that day. And, those, and all of those uh, gentlemen who were recently sentenced maintain their innocence and, and are appealing their sentences, and we should say that. But at this stage of the game, what's your, where do you stand on what happened and the outcome of, the, of those court cases? Look, any, any innocent loss of life is a tragedy. Um, but making... Um uh, forcing people to make snap judgments in a war zone uh, a few minutes after a large car bomb had gone off uh, requires clear decision making. And, you know, we'd asked for cameras. We'd asked for cameras in writing to prevent this very kind of thing, the same kind of thing that you see in, in police shooting controversies of a dashboard cam to record so there's that third party witness. We'd asked for those. The State Department denied them. And now these U.S. military veterans who served the military well, who were there doing a job again under the operational control of the State Department, uh, are held to a standard, um, not necessarily by a jury of their peers. You know, it's hard to have a jury of your peers 7,000 miles away seven, uh, seven years later not having to make those kind of decisions in battle. Um, that being said, and, e and even the charges of the, they sentenced him for 30 years um, based on a, on a firearms charge uh, really designed to go after cocaine traffickers who are using machine guns, not necessarily a, a government agent under the operational control of the State Department issued a weapon by, by the government. So the, the, that case was thrown out once already. The government got a conviction this time. The guys have a very strong case for an appeal, and uh, I will leave it at that. Yeah. 